Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Mitsubishi Shogun. A uh, new one into me this week. It's the 3.2 diesel, so the higher output engine, which seems to be the one that people want, uh, judging by the last few that we've had. Uh, right, I'll take you around and show you everything I can see. Obviously it's a 12 year old car now, so a couple of minor cosmetic bits that I spotted, but it, it was minor to be fair, there's, uh, it's a really clean and tidy vehicle. Right. Uh, so, xenon headlights, fog lights, a couple of little areas on the bonnet there where there's been like maybe bird pill or something that's attacked the lacquer a little bit. Uh, Continental tyres on the front, uh, it's got Michelin tyres on the back, so premium brand tyres all round. And due to them being big high profile tyres, obviously the wheels themselves are, are well protected, so I couldn't really spot any curb marks or anything. Just some like, um, you know, general wear to the badge and things. but wheels themselves all good side steps indicators in the wing mirrors paint all looks original to me I couldn't spot any areas of like previous paint or damage or anything like that it is HPI clear as well so should be free from accidents and all that sort of stuff Really nice colour actually, sometimes they don't come across so well in the video so have a look at the pictures as well. But um, I'll find out the colour name and put it on the advert, but it's a really nice sort of light metallic red. Really suits the car. You can see the roof rails up on top there, just grab one of those, climb up. Roof's all good. Glass sunroof there, I've left that on tilt so you can see that that works. I'll demonstrate the other functions of it when we get inside as well. Rear spoiler up there, the spare wheels obviously in this cover and it's got a further cover around it as well to help it from weathering. Um, rear parking sensors, a couple of which are built into here which I think is a really clever idea because obviously this sticks out nearly a, probably 10 or 12 inches further than the bumper so I thought that was a very clever idea. They are on the bumpers as well of course. Uh, detachable tow bar. Mitsubishi logo on there so it would have been supplied when it was new. Uh, that looks like a 13 pin fitment to me. I'll open the tailgate up. Speakers in there as part of the Rockford Fosgate sound system. Um, that folds down a little storage area and your emergency triangle just there. Should try and lock that back up again, a little bit tricky with one hand. There you are, all done. Uh, right, obviously I have, for the sake of it being on the site and this video, got the back row of seats erected. If you need the boot space, obviously they fold completely flat. They sort of roll back on themselves if you like. You take this bit out. That's where you store the headrests. That's got your tools and stuff in there as well. And I think this is like, um, like a jack. There's some wheel bolts in there as well. So all that stuff can stay there these just roll back and give you a huge great boot if that's what you need obviously if you need it for the seven seats you would lease these up they are leather as well you'll get a better look at them when I get in the back doors and have a look at the middle row uh, subwoofer again Rockford Fosgate branded or is it just Rockford did they change the name it always used to be Rockford Fosgate uh, 12 volt point over here as well uh, the load cover is there, obviously if you were sitting in these seats you would have that out and in your garage but again just so we can show you everything the car has got, I've left everything attached. Bodywork is in really nice condition for a, a lot of these have got huge not huge, but a load of light scratches down the side from going up and down bushes and things in country lanes. But this um, this is remarkably tidy actually outside. Another one of those little marks on the bonnet just there. That's, that's the only bit that's uh, detracting I suppose on the whole car. Uh, there is some here as well, just I, I guess someone let the batteries go low in the fob just and um, couldn't find it so we will polish these out but I just wanted to show them to you while they were there that's about the only other bit I could see 
Right, inside then, we'll start in the back. Uh, leather throughout, electric windows all round, mats all round. Full leather. Um, it's grey, I think. It's, it's a funny one, it looks blue in certain angles, it looks black in certain angles, but I'm gonna go with grey. There's a little bit of a better look at the back seats there. Headrests all present along here. You've got your isofix points through here. If you're not using the middle one, that folds down and gives you some cup holders as well. Airbags, it's got the rear AC option, so there's vents there and there for the aircon. Huge great legroom. There's the controls for the rear aircon. And you've got your child safety locks there as well. And also additional little speakers. Tweeters, I think they call those, don't they? Uh, right, other side, obviously much the same, but just giving you the full picture. Seats in really nice condition, actually. No wear or signs of indents or anything like that. Right, moving on to the front. Electric windows in front as well, of course. Uh, electric seats for the, both the front seats. Driver and passenger. Again, that seat in superb condition. Airbag here, which can be turned off there. Video inputs and USB inputs for your screen up there. Owner's manual. Loads of stuff in there. It's got a additional security system and the tow bar and everything that would have all been supplied by Mitsubishi. It's not aftermarket stuff. And then instruction manual for the screen and then one for the vehicle itself. Mats are present all throughout the front as well. We've got these little Mitsubishi branded kick plates in there. Head round to the driver's side now where we'll finish off. Showing you the electric windows all round of course, but you can lock those and you can lock the doors from this panel as well. The driver gets the electric seat, same as the other side, but it has got the lumbar support as well. A little bit of wear just on there. By no means excessive given the year. Genuine Mitsubishi mat down there. Electric mirrors, they are power folding. I'll just fold those in and out so you can see them working. Just going to hop in now to show you the rest of it. Okay, two keys, both Mitsubishi remote locking ones. There's the dash. If it looks like it's flickering, sometimes they do on the videos. It's just a uh, difference between the refresh rate of the camera. Uh, 84,802 the miles there, nice low miles for one of these. Uh, you've got your wipers there, your lights there. I think I mentioned before they are Xenon headlights. Leather trimmed multi function steering wheel, voice control, which it has got, Bluetooth for the phone, again, which it does have, cruise control, and audio controls. I'll just show you the voice one. Cancel. So that's that. You can, when you've got your phone linked up, that does all sorts of functions. Uh, there's a trip computer with the range and everything. It's got 70 miles worth of diesel in as it stands. Uh, show you a couple of bits on here. There's your radio, FM medium wave, long wave. It doesn't have DAB. Music server, it's like a hard disk drive. USB and iPod connections, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary. If I open this up, there's your disk slot, there's your hard drive, and there's one of your inputs. There's your nav screen, and then there's your menu. Aircon, it's blowing cold but not freezing. I'd say that could probably do with a regas if I'm being honest. I'm just going to wipe the lens of the camera a little bit. That's better. Uh, just move the gear stick out of the way so you can see these ones. Locking wheel nut is in there. That's just for like keeping your parking ticket or something safe in. 12 volt point here. It is a cigarette lighter, but it looks to have never been used. 
it doesn't smell smoky in here I must say. Not what I need today because it's absolutely roasting, uh, heated front seats. Pop that back into park before we descend off into the site. Uh, automatic gear selector there, it's got the plus and minus for sort of Tiptronic if you want to use that. And then there's your four wheel drive mode. So you can drive it in two wheel drive if you want to be a bit more economical. If you need the four wheel drive then there's three different modes for it there. I'll be absolutely honest, I've got no idea what those letters mean, but I'm sure you do if this is something you're looking at. Cup holders, storage area, traditional handbrake, uh, sliding armrest, it opens up to reveal that section there, and then there's a further one just below it, which opens the big section, and there is another 12 volt point in there as well. You've got airbags up there. You've got illuminated vanity mirrors and it's got this extra long shade on it as well. Alarm sensors, microphones, interior lights. Tilt and slide sunroof, so I've left it on tilt. I'll close it up and then we'll slide it back. Just to show you that it's all operating as it should. Perfect. Um, I think I've shown you those airbags already. Auto dimming rear view mirror. And then that about rounds out everything I can see. I appreciate sure I've been going on for a while because it's uh, got loads of stuff on it basically this car. Um, I may well have missed something still, so if I have, just give us a shout and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. Um, we're doing more and more deals now where we're delivering the cars nationwide basically. Um, that's the idea of me doing these videos so I can give you the information and hopefully the confidence you need to do so. There'll also be as many pictures as I can possibly take of the interior, the exterior and any paperwork. So you should have the whole picture at this point. Um, obviously if you're more local to me and you want to pop in and see the vehicle for yourself, you are more than welcome to do that. We just ask that you please make an appointment first. Okay, thank you very much for watching.